Hi, I'm Jay Allen from My True North, and in this video I'm going to share with you an alarming revelation. As a business coach, I consider myself in an exceptionally fortunate and privileged position. I get the chance to be able to speak to business owners on a day-to-day -day basis, not about the stuff that they want to talk about, but the stuff that really needs to be talked about, in order to be able to create the significant and sustainable growth in their business. You see, many business owners are exceptionally good at being able to promote themselves and their product or service. Far fewer are willing to be able to open the doors to the back office of their business and allow somebody to be able to ask the questions about why not? Have you done this? When are you going to do that? How have you missed that potential? Have you considered that market? It's about being able to ask the right questions in order to enable the business owners to think big enough about the significance of the growth potential in their business. Now the story I want to very briefly share with you, I'm going to remain completely professional and retract any reference to the business to which I'm referring. But it's all about understanding the fundamentals of growth in any business. About a month ago, I was first contacted through a client by a uh, a, a new prospect, a rather large business further away in the country than the local geographies to where I live and work, who wanted to know whether we could potentially arrange for an external marketing audit of their business. They've been trading for five years, they've got a team of about 35-40 staff, they operate five different businesses from one site under one umbrella group hub. And they wanted to be able to increase their return on investment for their marketing spend. They've got an exceptionally good and professional marketing manager in the business, but they wanted to establish as to could they do anything else to be able to ramp up their marketing? Could they do anything else to be able to improve the, the, the return of their marketing spend? And having seen me present warning your marketing might just work as a keynote speaker, they invited me to come along and give an external perspective as a consultant. Well, I went last week. I was able to spend two days with them. Um, I spent a day um, inspecting every aspect of the five different businesses that operate from the site, and then the following day providing some feedback and some sort of thoughts and suggestions about how they might consider improving things in order to be able to get what they're looking for. But it was surprising. And it's that that I want to share with you. You see, the remit for me going there was to look at their sales and marketing pipeline and funnel to determine as to could they increase footfall or could they increase return of customers? Could they reduce the amount of time before it takes a customer to return? Could they increase their marketing spend, uh, reduce their marketing spend or increase their customer spend in order to be able to get a better investment? And when I got there, I found an exceptionally professional and proficient marketing manager doing exceptionally well under some very very difficult circumstances you see the remit that I went for isn't what I found what I found is five businesses that were operating completely independently of each other some actually in competition with each other staff with a complete silo mentality about that's not my job the issues in the business that weren't allowing the business to grow were nothing to do with marketing. In actual fact, the marketing manager was doing an exceptionally good job at being able to generate brand awareness and introduce new potential customers to the site. It was only once people got to the site that things went wrong. Things like staff would walk past litter in the car park on the way to work and not think to pick it up. That's not my job. Staff that didn't know what each department did or where to be able to advise customers if they made an inquiry about a different business on the same site. Staff that didn't know about pricing and didn't know about how to be able to advise people as to what it cost or whether there was an opportunity to be able to do an upsell or a cross-sell. There were simple things like lots of customers were making complaints about the heat in a room being far too hot and stifling and them not wanting to stay. But the staff saying, 
well, it gets cold when the doors continually open and we need to stay warm because we're here all day. Other customers that were complaining about the style and volume of music in the restaurant. And the owner of the business saying, well, I like it, I think it's beautiful. You're not spending any money then. It's people that weren't listening to the customers and yet thinking that they needed to drive more customers to the business for more customers to get frustrated with it. It does concern me a lot that whilst people understand the importance of getting some form of external validation, getting some form of external support or guidance, which is exactly what I do as a coach, work with people to be able to give them an external observation or viewpoint, but then the remit that we come in under isn't what the problem is. In actual fact, if we could actually just have an open book and say, come in and give feedback, it would be far more beneficial for us to be able to be allowed to have open eyes and look at every aspect as opposed to the ones of the problems that they pose during the coaching sessions. So my suggestions to you as this video is why don't you take on a secret shopper? Yep, that's right. It doesn't have to go through a secret shopper agency or business, although there are some exceptionally good ones out there. You could just get somebody, either a neighbour or a friend, or post something on Facebook and invite one person to come and secret shop your business. I was actually with a client yesterday who was asking me to do just that for them in the next three or four weeks. I know who I've got in mind. They don't know them. I'm actually going to fly them over from Belfast in order to be able to do it. So they've got no idea who's coming. And all they've got to do is go in there and observe. And then give feedback with regards to their observations. But I can't tell you as to how revealing it is to be able to find somebody else's perspective on you and your business. So please, if you are serious about the significant and sustainable growth of you and your business, I implore you, open your mind and your ideas to the suggestion that you might be doing a great job, but you might be able to do a far better job if you invited other people to give you feedback on how it could improve. And that's not just a simple tick card that says, how could we get better? Get some proper feedback. Get somebody to be able to come in and review what you do and how you do. And if you'd like that to be us of my true north, then I'd be delighted to be able to either come along or send one of my other coaches to come along and observe you and your business. We are my true north, the ethical coaching company, and we significantly want and are determined to be able to help savvy business owners just like you create significant growth in your business. To do that, we need to be able to give you the honest advice about the things that you need to know about, which you are potentially missing by being too close to it. I look forward to being able to speak to you soon. Thanks for watching.